in Louisville, a distance of around 13 miles could mean the difference of about a decade of life, according to local health data. Focus investigative reporter Paula Vassan has new research about how COVID is widening that disparity and shows us what people in our community are doing to help. Hand grown and hand delivered. This watermelon drop off is an act of love and a helping hand. I'm back. For Nani Yai Santua, named warrior. after an African warrior. Who fought the British to save the Ashanti people from being captured and put into slavery. But in the last few years, she's faced her own battle. Well, I have a condition known as lymphedema. It means her days are usually spent right here. I don't move as fast, you know. She's grateful for the person who comes to her each week. Chantrice Martin. I got bell pepper and I got jalapeno peppers. I want the jalapeno pepper. Okay. Because without Chantrice, nice she air. says unhealthy microwave meals would be her norm. Well, part of it is because of what we have in the West End. It all boils down, she says, that is, to one uh, word. Lack. In all areas of life. Lack of housing. Lack of education. And lack of healthy food. Much of what comes to me it's because of people like Chantrice. It's that absence of grocery hey, stores in West doing? Louisville that made Chantrice get her hands dirty. I usually try to get it at the root. To we give her community what she says it's needed for decades. I'm the owner of Black Market. Black Market is a grocery store that's focused on sustainability. It's a market she opened up this year. Yeah, <laughs> during the pandemic actually. Without much practice. Before last year, I did not garden. So the fact that these things are growing, now I've killed a lot of plants, but you know, now I think I've gotten into the groove. She opened her market just blocks from her earliest memories. Yeah, so I was born and raised in the West End. To combat what she describes as a food this, desert that became even more unlivable during the pandemic. It's unfortunate. Her neighbors, like Nana Ya, isolated, often without transportation. It's hard to be healthy when you don't have the option to be healthy. She saw her community's health deteriorating. Yeah, absolutely. And right. vowed to help break the cycle. So 100% of these vegetables um, come from black farmers around Kentucky. My mother suffered from health issues. My grandmother, my great grandmother, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure. And a lot of that is because of the lack of access to healthy food. Chantrice believes their lives were cut short due to lack of access. I want to help sort of bridge that gap between a have and a have not. So what's the toll of that gap? Just how much does where you live impact your years on Earth? Here in West Louisville, life expectancy is about 72 years, but head east and it creeps up to 77 years and then to 82 years. In other words, a distance of about 13 miles can mean the difference of a decade of life. These aren't just colors on a map. Health experts say these ages, how long you might live based on where you live, reflect the human toll of scarcity, which the pandemic has only worsened. Life expectancy in the United States declined by a year and a half in 2020, according to the CDC. Chantrice believes limited access to healthy foods fuels I've the problem. It, like children do worse in school when they don't have access to healthy food. Um, people do worse at work when they don't have access to healthy food. We analyzed that issue of access, the approximate number of full service grocery stores in six zip codes split between the West and East neighborhoods of Louisville. In this area, which has the city's lowest life expectancy, there is one grocery store per 13,300 people. And in this area, with the city's highest life expectancy, there is one grocery store per 8,000 people. So where someone lives is really tied to their health outcomes. Um, Dr. Sarah Moyer is Louisville's um, chief health American strategist. Drop. She says the pandemic made those already vulnerable even more so. We know that COVID affects um, those that have higher blood pressure, that are obese, um, all those things that lead to poorer health outcomes, um, COVID has worse outcomes with. We've seen with COVID that if we don't take care of everyone in our community, um, all of our health suffers. I want to give back to the community because when we were poor and struggling, a lot of people did that for us. Chantrice and Nani Ya know this market is not the only answer to those in their community living longer, healthier lives. But they say this greenery. Yeah, it's been a real blessing. In a sea of concrete. Looks pretty amazing. Is a step in the right direction. Chantrice Martin says she doesn't just want to help her community access healthy food. She wants to support her neighborhood financially. 
Most of her products are from black local farmers and business owners. You can buy those products at her store on West Market Street or order online. For Focus, I'm Paula Vassan.